actually, I was in Cuba and I was like hanging out with some locals and they were driving around, I'm checking out the sites and whatnot. And I swear, like every single woman who looked like halfway decent, the driver's like laying into the horn, they're like yelling at this lady and whatnot. And I'm sitting there like, man, what is going on? And I, I'll admit, this is, this is not unique to Cuba. Like even in the States, like catcalling is still, it's still a problem. And I have a lot of female friends who travel around a lot. And a lot of the stories that I've heard, I'm like, good God. Um, but however, like what I experienced in Cuba was by far the worst random chick harassment I have ever experienced in my life. And I'll admit, like even for me, like growing up, if, a, if an attractive woman walked by, like it was like man law, you have to turn around like see what she's working with. Especially if your significant other is nowhere around. And sometimes if they are. And now some would try to argue that, you know, this is just what men do. No, that's, that's bullshit. Someone actually went through the trouble of conducting and publishing a study that they did with male chickens. And pretty much they took like a ball and like pretty much dressed it up to kind of look like a female chicken. And they put it, you know, put it in, in a chicken coop. Every single male chicken around tried to mate with this thing. Now, now I'm not trying to compare men to chickens. However, I'm not sure if it's any better or worse than the always popular dog comparison that we hear so much. The problem is with, is with exposure because in the media, what we primarily see of women is, is them being valued for, for their beauty or, or their sex appeal. And oftentimes in many marketing campaigns, we don't even see the whole woman. Like we'll just see their ass, maybe we'll see their breast or their leg or some other attractive body part. And then, then we wonder why the rates of rape and sexual assault are so high. But, but when you consider the fact that what most boys are trained to think is that, is that women are simply beautiful bodies to look at or, or something that feels good to have sex with. However, there, there is hope. With the, with the feminism movement picking up steam, as it appears to be, I'm hoping that in the, in the very near future that, that more men will be able to appreciate how a woman's mind works as opposed to just how her body moves. And that more people will find value in, in a woman's strength and not just her sex appeal. Because, because no matter how she looks, what she's capable of is far more exciting. Hey, so if you like what you saw, let me know. If you really like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more. Now, if you didn't like what you saw, let me know that too. And if you have any pointers on how I can do better, I'd be more than happy to hear. Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions of different topics you'd like me to talk about, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. And as I said, one of my goals is to start, or in some cases continue, a conversation regarding a lot of the things that I discuss on my channel. Let's do that. Let's do that.